and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio Botless Part 4. And what I am going to start off by doing, oh, quickly a couple of little changes since the end of the last episode. Stuck in this box here because we're not using steel because that one is all full. That box of um, rails, which is currently the only thing uh, that steel is being used for on the production line. Um, yep, so that will just allow us to keep making steel and I've also stuck down a stone um, buffer there as well so we will keep producing stone at least until they run out, two of which have run out so I will go and fix that, that quickly I got the hiccups I think I might do fun, oops always get rid of the inserter first okay so let's see um, let's get that one there. Alright, yeah, I'll stick that one there. No. Yeah, it's messy, but that'll do. Oh, and I just... There you go. God, that's ugly. Okay, um, well, I'll think of something else to do up there. Um, also, um, yes, the coal is, yeah, it's getting difficult, so what I plan to do is, uh, have I got speakers yet? Hmm, I have an idea, but I shall come back to that. Um, yes, what I want to do is set up production of miners, uh, so they require circuits, gears, and plates, all of which are on my main production line here. So, uh, let's... Ooh, okay, so I have four boxes, all of which are full. Yep, okay. What I'll do, I'll just extend these production lines out this way a little bit. Ah, oh, that about Oop, I don't... Uh, there we go. No. Okay, apparently I just grabbed a bunch of inserters as well. You can have them. Um, these ones. Okay, and I just want to make one, two, three, four of them. Because I can't be bothered to move those boxes. There we go. Okay, so what the circuits? gears and steel, was it? Yes, circuits, gear and steel. Circuits and gears can go onto the same belt. Okay, so I need another one of them, at least. Oh, that's messy. Uh, let's do that. Let's just make up a bunch of them. And come up that way. Uh, more iron. That's what I was after. Is onto the same belt and iron as well. So, bump. Circuit skiers and iron, and let's bring these guys out as well. Okay, also while I am here. to there so I can put 
Yoink. Yoink. Those back in. There we go. So that will keep these boxes filled. Okay. Um. Assembly machine. Oops. What was that? Um. Oh, more science. Okay. Just keep doing the next science. You can go there, actually. Make a box. Make an inserter and a long inserter. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. And another inserter and another box. Oops. And you can make them. That's a stupid thing to do. Hang on. That'll be quicker. Three, four, five, six. Still not nearly quick enough though. Hold on, what? What's... What happened to my iron supply? It was doing great. Huh. Okay, anyway, that will give me a supply of those. You know what? Doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, and then in a moment we will make use of that. Turns out that moment is almost immediately because these three boilers, or those, yeah, the, the boilers are running out of coal. So we need to, um, yeah, just redo this. Okay, so let's get rid of this entirely. And what I'm going to do is essentially switch it out for, I'll keep some of the... Uh, the burner miner drills um, because in case I do run out of power I want at least some coal production um, but uh, whoops. this way um, it'll be faster more efficient I don't end up with gaps that I can't reach do, do, do. Okay, right, so how many, uh, where are they even? There they are. Okay, so let's just go like this. And I'll have to get some more after that. Okay, let's... Just feed them in as quickly as possible for the moment. Oh. Um. Okay. Let's. Okay. Of course, everything's run out of power. Oh, that was silly. They're down there, aren't they? going, let's just throw a bunch of coal into there, thanks, let's just, oops, that'll give you power at least, yep, hopefully that's enough power to get these working, and then these mm, burner miners, oh, next, um, I 
I'd like that to be full. leave them like that for now. I'd like them to have lower priority, so I want the main belt to be full first. Yeah, I've got a few more of these. Yes, that should be enough for now. Lots of running backwards and forwards. that around there. And let's put these ones into power as well. One there. One there. Okay, now is that enough to fully compress my belt? Too much science. Yeah. Alright, I'll stick those in. I don't have a massive amount of coal there, but at least that should, um, yeah. So because side loading, um, what's already on the belt takes priority. There you go. Okay, nice full coal. Okay, next things next. Um, okay, looking at this one, we've got a few more things to do, but we do need to start working on blue science. So blue science on the button requires advanced circuits. Okay, so we need to start actually doing something with our oil factory. So we need to make some plastic um, and we need to properly um, make more mining drills and engine units as well. Okay, let's have a think about this. So, I had a think about it, and what you just saw me doing there was building a lot of stuff, mostly a train network and a smelting area that you can see here. So, um, there's actually a fair amount of work I've done, so let me talk you through what has been done. So we have this area here, we've got stops for three trains, top one is bringing in coal, that both refuels the trains and uh, fuels the steel furnaces as well. We have an iron train um, that goes between here, where we are now, and out a little bit, goes around there, and into this big iron deposit, 1.5 million up here. Which is that a hole in the middle? It does go down a little bit in the middle. No, I think there's just some trees or tree corpses or something. Anyway, um, so yeah, train doesn't go very far for that one. Uh, just around there. Um, coal, ooh, I need to get radar coverage on that. The coal train does go all the way down here to this little area. Um, well, I say little, um, 
it's 1.6 million coal, so it's actually quite a lot of coal. That should keep me going for pretty much ever, I think. Um, this one, that 3.9 million coal. Mind you, now coal liquefaction is a thing. Um, I might have a little bit of a closer look at that, see what we might be able to do. Now, there's a couple of reasonably-ish large copper patches around. Um, to get any decent ones, you sort of have to go quite far afield and take on some biters. Um, not really wanting to do that, so for the moment, I've just routed some of this copper patch here. Um, so. Most of it, in fact. So of the three rows we've got there, two, are, sorry, one is going back to the main base, which seems about right actually. It's neither backing up all the way nor um, being used. We also have, sorry, um, so one row going that way, two rows coming this way. A little bit of a hack. It just comes in and feeds into this um, four-four belt balancer here. Um, so let me do that just to actually get that in. I will also send off these two trains. Both have been loaded with 25 coal in each end just to get things going. And yes, I suppose now we just have to wait to see if that's worked. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew I'd missed something. I said the coal was being delivered here to refuel the trains and fuel the smelters. That is true. At the moment, it is not actually refueling the smelters. I need to actually do that as a thing. Um, luckily, that shouldn't be too hard. Um, let's see. So I want that split off there. I want that to underground there. Um, oh, another thing to mention, by the way. So down the bottom we've got copper. This one here is iron. This one here is iron. This lot here is steel. So we've also got some steel production going on here. Okay, so that just goes on to there. Whee! Then I need another splitter. And this one will be top line. Whee! Oh, here comes the coal. Uh, else, uh, bottom line. Okay. Oh, and there comes iron as well. Excellent. Right, let's get this coal to where it needs to be. Right, so both of these rows need to come down. Splitter with belts. One lot can go up there. One lot can go down there. Excellent, we're only filling up one side. Steel production is being done. Good, good, good. And then this. What have I lost? It? Oh, of course, I've diverted one of the lines to refuel the trains. Um, hmm, how do I want to do this then? What I will probably do. is just balance the belt there. Now, in fact, let's just take a quarter of this. So... More splitters! There. Oh, more coal coming back. Ok, 
Okay, and then this last one here can come down to fuel the coal. Excellent, right. So, once I've done that, I think that is about it for this episode. Um, next episode I will be bringing off a main bus off this line here. Um, also leaving enough room to expand with more train stations and more smelting if necessary. It will be necessary at some point, I am certain. Um, so this is... And I'll, and I'll probably have to rework the whole thing at some point anyway, just because that's how this game works. Okay, but that's good. We've got a line of steel, two lines of iron, and when that... Co oh. That's one too far away. There you go. And that's backwards. There you go. Um, okay, so that's that. I have just one more thing to show you quickly. Um, won't actually mean anything for the short term. Oh, that upset the trains. I've had to actually watch where they are now. There. Oh. <sighs> Some things never change. Okay, so this stone deposit here. I am mining it up. Um, at the moment I've just got it making landfill. As I said, not really useful at the moment, but I will need landfill sooner or later. Um, the ones at the edges have already started to go. Um, oh, oh, that one's just missing a belt. And, oh, no, that one's not dead. That one's not dead. That one's not dead. Was that one even dead? Yes. Okay. Alright, well, there goes the train again. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.